uh, you would have noticed as you watch me play that that I varied se several ideas, and that is uh, when I get to the da, 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 this is the first time around, I just play straight through it. Da, 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 da. Keep going. Da, 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 da. Uh, second time I did. Da, 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 da. Third time I did. Da, 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 da. So these are all just little ideas that are that uh, some of them are like uh, uh, a quote from the original version that I recorded with Chet Atkins. Uh, other things are just things that I've made up along the way uh, purely to, to make it interesting and to make it different each time. So let's start. The, the thing about Borsellino is, um, is, is uh, if you learn to play it this way, it's a lot easier than uh, some of the other ways that I've seen other players play it. Uh, the first thing I want to point out to you is you've got uh, you're playing from an A position, right? Then you've got the flattened five as the melody. Now, most people go with their index finger, they go, right? That's the correct note. But there's a lot of easier way of doing it, and that's using the open E string. So you just leave your finger on that fourth uh, fret second string and go, play the open. You see that? It makes it a lot easier. Anyway, so let's go from the, from the top. So the the, in, the introduction is now I end on that that D note on the on the B string with my index finger because it sets me up for that chord. See that? There you go. I'll do that one more time. Here we go. Now, um, you, you see that with my thumb, I'm just going, which is a typical boom, chick, boom, chick pattern. Da, da, da. Now, when I switch to the D, I'm going, uh, um, with my thumb, I'm going, I'm only playing, I'm not going, I'm just going. letting those notes ring gently like that and then when I come to the B then I really lay the thumb in a little more so it's, it's so you, you you get this effect right boom chick now and so I'll just do that one, one more time for you Dun. thumb over there you see that um, not everybody either can do that or wants to do that and some people think that it's the wrong thing to do to bring your thumb over the top if you want to play this style properly you've got to bring your thumb over it it's all it's a very important part of it anyway so I'll just show you that one more time and thumb second verse same as the first Next time around, I do a little trill with my index finger to, to get this the melody to, to sound really nice. So, so here, see that? Then same as the first, and thumb in. Now this time I would go. So I'm just holding that, uh, it, it's a B minor seventh, so I go, then thumb over and now this leads us to the first bridge, so I, to, to sustain the, the, the A note over the, the first line of the bridge, I, I, I come back a little bit on the string and hit it like that so it sustains, so you, you, you watch this. That it's ringing all the way through that that nice run. 
I'll just play that again. And I'm trying to play that in a way that everything rings. Now I'm set up for the see my fingers are ready to go boom, to the D major seventh. Now this, this is probably going to be the hardest part of the song for you because there's a reach in this that's pretty long and it's there and I'll show you what it is. So and you can see I'm marking out the boom chick by moving my little finger up and down. This takes a bit of practice to get that nice and steady and also nice and smooth because it's, it's hard to push that with your little finger while this part of your hand's back here. So you, you don't have to get used to that, that position and you may, or I'll be, be willing to bet, you'll get, uh, sore, you, you'll get uh, aching in these muscles here. But that, that's okay, just play through the pain. It's gonna be worth it. So. Uh, That's going to be a hard one for you. You may, if you can't reach that like I can, um, then you may want to stop playing the boom chick and just go back like that. So, so. see that? That, that? that way it might be easier for you. But if you can do what I'm doing, that's all, all the better because it's constant there. So, so. Now, what I do here in this next section is I anticipate the D minor that I'm coming to, and I'll show you how I do that. Uh, here we go. I got ba da da So that's a D minor there, I'm going. C sharp minor. I'll, I'll, I'll do that again for you. Uh, 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 here we go. Okay, let me just run through that whole thing slowly for you now. So. doing a little trill with my with my head. So, let me play that one more time uh, from the uh, um, uh, uh, let's see uh. then then I go and that sets me up. So that is, that's three, uh, uh, one, two, three, and uh, there. Uh, and that brings me into the next verse. And this next verse is the same as the second verse. So I'll just, I'll just run the whole bridge for you now. Uh. So that's that's the uh, first two verses and bridge. Now let me go bring you into the the second bridge. You play the same kind of oh, here's the second bridge. Um, you play the same uh, kind of thing, but we're playing up the octave now. So here, here's what I do to to set up coming into the second bridge. Um, uh, um, de de now, as I did the first time, if you remember, I played that open A. Now this time, I play the A as a harmonic. 
and let that ring, which, which sustains through the first uh, opening passage of the bridge. So it sounds like this. Now let me point something out here. When you get to this D high up here, you're going to have to get used to doing this. And that is, you're playing the D, there's the D chord, right? And there's the D bass, I've got my thumb on it, but I've got the open A. So I get, see that? Isn't that clever? It's one of Chet's little tricks. So you get, um, um, uh, you still get that even though I'm high up there. So, so, so here we go. And B. Now, I play this little riff. This is how I play that. That, uh, that that's how I finger that. You could do it if you wanted. I just naturally use my thumb because it, it's easy, easy for me there. So. Uh, this is what I play on the B thirteenth. I, I drop the B string down like this. See that? So it sounds like this. There it is. Now boom, this part again. Now from, from there out, it's exactly the same as the bridge before. So I'll just lead you through that bridge one more time. And it starts like this. You can do that if you want. And uh, what, I, what I'm doing is I'm doing a little. So, so it sounds like this. This time, I do what uh, Chet and I both did on, on the original recording. We, instead of instead of so the first time we did the 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 uh, thing like 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 that. The second time we do so that's basically how to play the song uh, in the two two bridges and just watch. Um, the the footage of me playing it from start to finish and just try to catch hold of as many of the nuances as as possible. Hope you enjoy playing Borsalino. It's a great song. <laughs>